This is a quick and easy way to point a wall using lime mortar. I will show you how to transform this crumbling wall that only a few months ago was completely covered in ivy to the extent you couldn't even see the wall into this limestone wall that maintains the traditions of how it was built using lime mortar and I'm going to show you how to do it now. This is a limestone wall in France. Make sure you've cleared everything out, all the dirt, all the debris. It's all prepped and ready to go. Spray it with a bit of water to get that dust out. So what do you need? You need a, it's gonna be much easier with a cement mixer, although you can easily do small amounts in a big bucket or a tub. Um, you're gonna need sand. So this sand here is a mixture of fine sand and it's, it's two and four. When you have a good mixture, it will bond much better. If you've just got fine sand or if you've got big kind of stony sand, then it's just gonna crumble a lot more. So you want a good mixture that's gonna set well with the, the lime. So this is Chaux Blanche, which is also known as lime in English, and it's NHL 3.5. You can get 5.0, which is a lot stronger. Now what you're gonna need is three to one. So three, imagine three buckets of sand to one bucket of Chaux Blanche. And that's the mix. And then you just continually add water and it will slowly make a mix. So let's just quickly go through that. So I've added a little bit of water just to get it going because I've washed out from before. I know roughly it's nine scoopfuls will make three buckets. Um, now for the Chaux Blanche, you really should wear protection because if it gets in your eyes and if you breathe it in, it's not good for you. So pop on the pop on the eye goggles. The key is to not put all the water in at once. So continue to add it and just kind of watch the mix and you'll see you want it to just kind of hold, you want to hold up the mix and then it will just kind of slowly slide off. You don't want it too wet, you don't want it too hard. You want a really good consistency uh, so it will adhere to the wall. Okay, so just Check it to see how it is. I'm gonna touch my water and then we're ready. So that's the kind of consistency you want. It's not kind of swimming in water, but also it's not hard enough. It's got a nice mix. So you're going to have to still be quick and you might need to add some water if it does dry out. Um, so that's ready to go. Once you've made the mix, it's uh, ready to start pointing. Um, this is the most important time as well to obviously wear the gloves um, because as you apply it, it will go on your hands. And if you're doing it with no gloves on, they will get really dry. So you can see this is before. And as I said, you really want to clear out in between the stones as much as possible. Um, they're still going to be the odd stone, dust and debris, uh, but just get rid of all organic matter um, and then you can start applying it. And this is what I did yesterday and this morning. Uh, it's dried and I've brushed it off and you'll see that entire process. Make sure you've got the appropriate tools. So you've got a float, a trowel, um, you can have different sizes. So this is a set here. There's a big one that you can just scoop it on there. And then this is for the smaller gaps and then slightly bigger. And what you also want to do is you want to catch anything that goes on the ground so you can reuse it. So just put a board down and then you can start reapplying it once it falls down. Now 
the reason why this is quick and easy is you don't really want to be too much kind of perfecting it getting into the crack i mean that's a technique but you will be here forever especially if it's not an important wall let's say it's outside it's not inside your house so what we're doing here is i'm just trying to get it in in there as much as possible if i need to i can just put a stone like this if it's a big enough gap get it in deeper but really you want to do just fill this up as much as possible really get it in there and then what we're going to do afterwards is scrape a lot of the excess off the style is a lot more kind of rustic um, it's not perfect but it will do the job and it will kind of seamlessly flow in with the in with the stones Up here there were a lot of vines and as I ripped the vines out it took the stones with them so I've had to rebuild slightly and it's really important that you don't just kind of pack it all in pack some stones in you need to build it up and let it dry in layers uh, so I've done this a, a bit yesterday and a bit this morning and it's still drying um, you can then scrape away if you then want to add a stone or if you want to add more mix uh, to it so it adheres better one thing I forgot to mention that before you start, you should make sure that the wall is kind of uh, wet slightly. So just use uh, kind of a sprayer or use a hose on a, a very fine setting and just spray the wall. Make sure it goes in, in with the gaps and especially have it, if you have this kind of dirt, you want it to go more sand like so it will adhere. Once you've got to this stage and you it's getting towards the end of the day and you've filled as much as you can and you don't want to make a new mix then what you want to do now scrape away any of the excess mortar and then you're going to get a brush a kind of a soft brush and just brush between the stones uh, to create a nice effect so it all kind of smooths over with the stones i'm using my son's little spade um, but what you can do which i was hoping to do is cut one of these chowls and you have a kind of flat edge and kind of scrape away so that's what you're going to be doing is you're just going to be scraping away here I've scraped off down here a little bit and now I'm just going to brush it with a bit of water to smooth it out. There we go, last bit of brushing, just touching up a few bits. What I did find is with these gloves, they're not fully protected all the way around. So my hands were getting a little bit dry after day two. So I put these plastic gloves on underneath and they've really helped. So that's the finished wall and it dries at different times. So at the bottom it's still drying and little bits at the top, uh, but eventually it should all come to one same color. This wall is about four by two this side, um, but really you could do this um, in about two days, maybe one day if you didn't have all that stuff to pack and if there's two of you, you could easily do it in a day. So it is really quick and easy. Start early. It's really important that you do the whole process in the day from filling to scraping to brushing and you should have a really nice finished wall at the end of it.